Hi, I'm Tim Dolber from Sample Tune Sequoia in North America. I'm here to show you through a couple of the features that are really cool that separate Sample Tune and Sequoia from other digital audio workstations that are out on the market. Now, we all know what all these different digital audio workstations do, Pro Tools and Sonar and Studio One. All of these are great workstations, but I'm gonna show you the things that set Sample Tune and Sequoia in a completely different realm as far as editing and working on music productions. So let's dive into a couple of the things. First, we're gonna look at the screen. One of the things you'll notice is we have a rainbowish color going on right here. And what's going on is we have a thing called comparisonics, which allows you to see the frequencies on the screen by color representation. So the darker the color, obviously, the lower the frequency being responsed. Now, the higher frequencies are by brighter colors. So as we zoom in on this, we can find different things going on through their colors. Which helps in editing, helps you go through and find stuff. Now another cool feature that's built into it that no one else has is our object-based editing. Object-based editing is if you take uh, what other people have like clip gain from Pro Tools 10 and put it on steroids. This is something we've had since the mid 90s so it's not a new feature, it's, it's something we've been de developing for many many years. Our clip gain of course is right here. Every time you make a cut there's automatically made a crossfade and a new object is also made on the screen. Each one of these objects you can double click on and open up the object editor. The object editor is an entire mixer, mixer channel for that one object. Now of course this one object is sitting on a track and that one track will go through the mixer just like any other digital audio workstation. Again this is just the things that are different that stand out in this program. So the object based editor for the one object you have selected or if you have multiples whatever is selected on the screen, you can then adjust the input gain, you can send it to any of your 64 aug sends, you can add plugins, you can add an EQ to it, you also have stereo uh, tools built into it, your volume of course again is there, you have your fade ins and fade outs, you can adjust even further, your shapes and such, time stretch as well as a Melodyne style pitch automation, and all of this is done in real time, non-destructively, just sitting on the object. So once you're done with it, you don't have to hit apply and have it rendered. It stays there forever until you tell it to freeze or do something else. So I can come back to this and work on it some more a month later without having to search down where I have the file from. Also, everything on the object can be automated too. So if I have a plugin EQ loaded onto this object, I can actually automate that EQ as well as the normal automation you would do on the track. What's cool about object-based uh, automation is that when you grab an object and move it, the automation of course is locked right up to it because it actually exists inside the object itself. So object-based editing is probably my favorite feature that separates it, but also I'm gonna throw another thing at you. Built into Sample Tune Sequoia is the cleaning and restoration suite, which is a full blown suite of plugins designed for cleaning and restoration. Now, most of them work in real time in the object editor or in the mixer as a plugin, but we have a couple that work offline, and I'm going to show you one of the offline ones. If you have this acoustic guitar part, let's go ahead and open it in the Spectral Cleaner. Put the cursor right there, plays along. We have a loud squeak. All I have to do is select the range, high frequencies at the top, low frequencies at the bottom, hit play. And of course you can adjust it a little bit further and make it perfect. You can bypass it. You can also bring it back in so it's only there 50%. Another place that I use it a lot, that I'll show you exactly how it works, is that at the end when I'm holding out a note on the acoustic guitar, you can hear the click track bleeding through the headphones. That's something that is a nightmare to fix any other way than using spectral editing. Here's an example, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. And in here you can see the clicks, we're just going to go through and we're going to circle them. Hit play. It's just that easy. And again, I didn't have to offload the file and open it up in something like Isotope. I literally just opened this up inside the program, hit OK, 
and I'm off and working again because it's all built in to the program. It's built into Sampletude and it's built into Sequoia. So those are a couple features that hopefully you enjoyed. Enjoy your day. Hope you check out this uh, program. It's at Sampletude.com. Have fun.